What's up guys, welcome back to Traction Garage. Today we are gonna be installing some new headlights on the Dodge Ram right there. We got some headlights from Orimoto. It's some um, LEDs. We're gonna be upgrading those ugly halogens right there. It should be so much better. These are the ones we got. Bam. That's gonna be so much better. So these are from Morimoto. They're the hybrid LEDs. Um, they should be a lot better than the stock halogens. This, this is somewhat of their budget option. Um, I got it on Black Friday. I just got them three months later. They were on back order but it cost me about $800 and um, these right now I believe are like 900 something um, still looking a good deal um, to replace the halogens because the other option is I think the other option is like $1,300 and then um, the original LEDs it's kind of hard to convert and they're way more expensive so I think this will be a good middle option we'll see how it works out Let's uh, let's get started on the install. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna remove this cover from the grill. There's just a couple push pins that we're gonna take out. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. 12 push pins to take this cover off and then we're gonna move on to the grill. the next thing we're going to be removing is this plastic piece right here it's just also a couple also a couple clips and just a couple eight millimeter bolts holding it in place as well and then we're going to screw these and then there's these with the clips right here so when you're unscrewing these you might want to just slightly hold this and unscrew it so it doesn't move the clip out of place and then we'll take out this whole plastic piece as well So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take off these four eight millimeter bolts and pull out this fender liner to get into the opening to take out this tab right here. So let's do that.
so we push this fender liner out the whole point is to get access to this one screw that's right here it might be kind of hard to see but it's easy to get uh, it's just a 10 millimeter uh, bolt right here and you unscrew it to undo this tab here So when removing this, be very careful not to break the clips because that could cause a very bad day. What you want to do is just pull down right here on this tab, like right here. And if you can see it right here, pull down and then slightly pull this back. And then in the front, in the front, it's a little bit difficult. I got one of the tabs in there out, the top one. This bottom one does not want to come out and I'm scared to break it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna probably pop it off with the grill off. That way I don't risk breaking it. But for now we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Okay, to remove the grill, there's just a couple screws here. It looks like another 10 millimeters. So one and two and then three all the way there so if you get lucky and you want to try to take this out um and it's obviously going to make your life easier to take out the grill but i'm not going to risk breaking that clip so i'm just going to unscrew it it's really easy access here i'm going to unscrew the grill take everything off together and then take that off and uh, we'll do that on both sides right now All right, so once you unscrew the bottom bolts under the headlight, there's gonna be one, two, three, and four more bolts um, that we're gonna screw on top of the grill here. So let's do that. Okay, once that's done, all you do is just pry these up and then pop the grill out. In case you were wondering how these come off, there's tabs right here that you have to push in to take it out. So it was kind of hard to get it off when it was on the car. So once I got the grill off, it was pretty easy just to push those in and pop these uh, things out. So now let's continue. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the headlight. Um, so it should be pretty simple. There is just a clip. There is just a clip right there, a screw right there, also a eight millimeter. Sorry, also a 10 millimeter. I keep mixing them up, 10 millimeter. And the final screw would be right here. So you might wanna hold on to the uh, headlight once you're in the last screw, but we're gonna start with this one and then work our way to the top. headlight all you do is just unclip the two clips here one for the blinker one for the headlight so the sensor right here the plug you just push down on this and pull it out and same thing with this one you just push up in it and pull it out Right, now that we got the headlight out next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna remove this bottom bracket and place it on the new Morimoto headlight so the first thing we're gonna do is just remove all these uh, screws here they're just the t25 so there's one two three four and five and then it should pop right out Now 
we're gonna go ahead and take off this top bracket as well and put it on the top of the headlight so this one also just has a couple screws so there's just one two and three and this bracket should pop right out this little one right here all right to take out the blinker all you do is just twist it twist it and it pops right out i already took it out but there's just a bulb that you replace and i'll show you how to put it into the other one all right so after we got everything transferred over the next thing we're going to do is hook up the harness should be very straightforward uh we're just going to plug it into an empty fuse spot in the fuse box and then lead the wire through let's take this off we're going to take out a fuse that's not being used which is slot 38 so let's see if we could find it here one so slot 38 is you heard to see this one right here so we're gonna take that one out and we're gonna plug in the harness in there so you take the harness just plug it back into that slot and that's pretty much it bam now what are you gonna do to lead it is you're gonna lead the shorter end obviously to here to this headlight and the longer end you're gonna lead to the longer side on the other side i think the best way to probably lead the wire is right here along this line and then just make it all nice and snug so it's not touching or dangling around anywhere and that's it then we're just gonna test them Alright, so we got everything wired up, hit the wires as much as I could. Um, it's pretty easy, it just takes a little bit of time. I hate when there's wires everywhere, so I just try to make it as nice as possible. Um, you probably can't see anything, but I just kind of hit the wires from the harness. Now, it's just putting everything back together, and we're done. And we'll uh, test these out. Let's do it.
difference. So much better than the yellow. Clearly it needs just a little bit of adjusting to do. Um, get them a little bit more squared, but man, huge difference, especially at night. It was kind of hard to tell in the morning. guys that is all hope you enjoyed the video um huge difference obviously from the halogens and um for the price it definitely makes a huge difference only thing we have left is just some wheels and uh pretty much solid daily driver um <clears throat> let me know what you guys think um if you would like to purchase these headlights i'll have a link down below for your ram to replace the halogens um these will only work with the rams that come with the halogens not the ones that come with the oem leds um you can make them work but it's just a huge process and the oem leds are pretty nice themselves but <clears throat> i think this was a good upgrade for the price we'll have a couple more ram things coming up and some jeep and s2000 thing if you like what you saw today hit that subscribe button hit that like button um leave comments what would you like to see me done on the truck what do you think i can improve i always love seeing opinions and different uh styles on truck builds car builds any builds uh helps me out a lot um but anyways guys thanks for watching have a good one